Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build a splash dispenser brewery. This is a fully automatic potion stand that brews splash potions you can use by walking over the pressure plate to have a dispenser throw the potion at you. The front of this contraption is flush with the wall and ground so you can have this in a walkway where you can pick up a speed boost from the potion. There are two designs for the dispenser, you can have it in the wall on display or under the pressure plate and from both of these places the player will get the full effect of the potion. So as you use these potions up the contraption will automatically brew more potions so there are always splash potions for you to use when you walk over the pressure plate. So before we start the tutorial, I'm going to show you how this contraption works, but first of all I've got to say thanks to my buddy Ease, again we worked on this together, and without his help I don't think this would have even have been possible, let alone as compact as it is right here. But I think the best place to start with this explanation is the dispenser at the front, when you stand on the pressure plate you're going to activate it, but you're also going to power the two droppers behind it. So they have potions in as well, and they're simply going to move the potions forward, so this is always stocked at the front. Now this hopper right here is what starts the automatic brewing, so as you use this more space is going to appear in this dropper right here which means the items in this hopper are going to make their way into the dropper in the front. So when they have all left that's when the automatic brewing is going to start. This comparator right here is going to turn off which will activate the redstone at the top and dispense all of the ingredients into the hopper right here. So when the ingredients go into that hopper this comparator is going to turn on. So when that happens this torch will turn off and this block will be powered so the items that are in this hopper here will make their way into this one and that will turn on this comparator and lock the hopper at the bottom. So when that's locked no potions will be able to leave it. So at the same time this torch is going to turn off which means this block will no longer be powered and the potions that are in this hopper will be able to go into the brewing stand. Now above this hopper is a minecart chest. This is an infinite storage concept by Minecraft PG5. You can basically spam loads of minecart chests on top of there and have infinite storage and then you can use a hopper to put new potions into it so you can have as many potions as you need stored in that space right there. So then when the potion is brewing and it's almost done the last item is going to leave this hopper right here and go down into the brewing stand down below which is then going to turn off this comparator like it is at the moment. So the block on the side locks which means those potions there won't be able to go back into the brewing stand and then these hoppers right here will be like they are at the moment. So the items that are in this side will start going back into this side which will act as a clock because when it becomes unpowered that's when the potion has finished brewing so then the hopper will become unlocked and those fully brewed potions will go down into the hopper down below. Now if this has been used a few more times then they are going to go straight through into the dropper in front of it and it's going to activate the comparator again so the whole cycle will start over and if it doesn't they are just going to rest in there until you use the machine and again when the items go into the dropper in front of it that's when it will start brewing automatically. So another thing I think I should point out is that when you use this design over here with the dispenser in the wall, the way you need to power the droppers means that you're actually going to have extra storage space. So there is like a buffer of potions behind it. With that one it is just the two droppers behind it. With this one there are the two droppers, an extra dropper and an extra hopper to store the potions as well. So let's start the tutorial. To build this you're going to need an area of land that is three blocks wide, seven blocks deep, it's going to go down by two blocks and up by four, and this red glass at the front represents where the wall and the ground is going to be, so this gap in the middle is where your dispenser is going to go. So to build this you'll need 16 building blocks, three half slabs, a pressure plate, two redstone comparators, six droppers, a dispenser, a brewing stand, three redstone repeaters, a powered rail, eight redstone, five hoppers, and three redstone torch, then you'll need 53 items to go inside of the hopper clock and then you'll need a whole bunch of minecart chests. Now the more of these that you have the more you can place on top of the powered rail, that is the infinite storage and you'll also need a hopper to point into those minecarts so you can put your potions in here and they will go into the minecart chests. So we're going to start off by placing our dispenser first of all which is convenient because then you can build everything else around it so when you put that in the right place put two pieces of redstone below it, a block leave a gap, put another block leave another gap and put another block back there and then put two droppers here both facing forward so they face into the block in front of them and then behind this dropper put a hopper facing into it. Then we can put a comparator here, put a block in front of the comparator and then a block in this corner and a piece of redstone right here and then we are going to put a half slab in this position and this one and on the other side a full block in there and there. So next we will put two blocks here 
and another one at the front there and then put our brewing stand on top of that hopper and then place a hopper facing into the brewing stand like that then we'll put a comparator here facing in this direction with a piece of redstone in front of it and behind it we will put the two hoppers that face into each other like that then over on the other side we are going to put a repeater here on the fourth setting put a piece of redstone in front of it and then place two torches here and here so we're going to place two blocks above this redstone torch and then two half slabs on this side over here. We'll put a piece of redstone at either end with a repeater in the middle like that, leave it on the default setting. And then we'll put a redstone torch here, a comparator here and a piece of redstone right there. Now what we're going to do is place the hopper and the droppers. So we want to do the droppers first of all so we can have them facing into the middle like this. And then we need to put them on the other side as well. So above that redstone and right there then we can put our hopper facing down into the brewing stand and then we can put a repeater right here like that now you're going to need to put some blocks around it so that the items don't fall out and go all over the place so all around all of the sides like that and then last of all we're going to put our powered rail here on top of that hopper and that's where you'll put your minecart chests so the potion stand isn't finished just yet. We need to set this thing up for brewing. So I've labeled each of the droppers as you can see there. So we're gonna do splash potions. We're gonna put our nether wart into this one, the one above it for sugar. And the third ingredient is redstone. So that goes in this one over here and then gunpowder above that one. Now the next thing we want to do is lock the hopper at the bottom. So we're going to go down here and place a redstone torch right there. And then we will put our items into this hopper at the back. So 53 items going to there. The next thing for us to do is to set up the infinite storage. So the way you do this is just right click on the on the powered rail right there and I need the hitbox to appear which is kind of finicky and now each time I click I'm just placing another minecart chest in that area right there. So there's quite a few at the moment and to put our potions into them we're going to put a hopper facing into it like this and you have to shift click like that so it points into the minecart chest. Now you could put this on the side because at the moment that's going where the wall would be but obviously I've got those signs there at the moment. So then we can select this and we can shift click our water bottles into there and they're all going to slowly filter through into the minecart chest. So when you put all of your water bottles into the minecart chest then you want to leave three aside to put directly into the brewing stand like this. Then we're going to go around the back and remove this piece of redstone, replace it so the ingredients dispense into the hopper and then the brewing will start. And you can tell that's happening because this right here is activated, that means the hopper is being locked. So then you can go down and remove your torch and that's it, that's all you have to do. So this is the more convenient setup for the infinite storage. You can open this chest, you can double click all of your water bottles into it and then they will slowly filter down into the infinite storage. Now our brewing has just finished which means that the hopper is full of potions and so is the dropper in front of it so this thing is ready for us to use. We're going to put down a pressure plate here, we need to activate this so that the item comes into the dropper in front of it Then do that again and now there'll be one in here and then this time we can get our potion effect. So if you want to build the alternative dispenser design at the front then what you want to do is remove these blocks like that and then we're going to come down the bottom here and place two droppers facing upwards and a hopper into the back of it like that then the potions are going to come through so it's going to start brewing again we're going to put a dispenser at the top here and then a block with a pressure plate in front of it so for the very last part of this tutorial I'll show you how to wire this up for brewing with five ingredients in case you need to do that. So over here we have a repeater that goes into a block with redstone on top of it to pass it back round to this dropper and this dropper is facing into that gap in the middle so that is your fifth ingredient. Now there is an alternate way to wire this up which is to just have a piece of redstone right here however it means these two droppers get powered at the same time and it becomes unreliable for what way the ingredients go into the hopper down below but that is how you wire up for a fifth ingredient. And so that is the end of this tutorial. If you have enjoyed it and found it useful, please do leave a like. It is always appreciated. There is a world download in the description box available for you if this is going to be useful to help you build it. And again, thanks to my buddy Ease for working on this one with me. It turned out to be a very good project indeed. But that is it for this video. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.